We are here again talking with Chris Wilson and Burnett Jarvis about the First Baptist Church Santa Fe Living Nativity presentation. Chris, how does the Living Nativity uh, impact the Santa Fe community and about how many visitors come each year? So we get about 2,500 to 3,000 a night. Uh, I believe it impacts the Santa Fe community by being able to recreate Christ's birth um, so that people can come and take a look at it and remember what Christmas is truly about. We get all different types of religion. We are able to minister to them and introduce them into our church and invite them to come and see music. And, and Burnett, how long have you been the costume uh, coordinator for the Living Nativity? Well, as, as much as I can remember, it's been about 12, 12 years, maybe a little longer, but about 12 years. And how many characters do you costume? We do shifts because it's so cold at that time of year. So we put a shift out, which is at least 20 people per shift. When you talk about shepherds, adult shepherds, children shepherds, wise men, Mary and Joseph, uh, angels on the roof. Well, it's around 20 persons per shift. And every 30 minutes, we rotate those shifts to come in, warm up, and rest, have something to eat, and then go out for another 30 minutes. How did the church acquire so many costumes? It's been a year, several years collection. Um, members of the church have sewn them through the years. And we do a little patching, a little cleaning, and we reuse them. We store them in storage units and, uh, and try to add some each year. Uh, but uh, we, we just take them out each year, add some and uh, use them year after year. Can you describe some of the, your tasks as the coordinator? Well, I have, lots, I have lots of help. We first of all have to carry them in from storage. We put them in a big room, the choir room, to dress the characters. We have head wraps that we, we have gloves, we have, uh, different things for each character. So I've got lots of help dressing and preparing them to go out when it's their time. And Chris, everyone loves the animals. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Oh, the animals are great. Everybody loves them. We've got, uh, well, we originally started off with, you heard me talk earlier about cardboard sheep and uh, a couple of goats and but uh, it's grown quite a bit. We have horses now, donkeys. Uh, we also have a camel that comes. Uh, we have uh, goats. We had alpacas this year. Um, it, it's incredible. And in addition to the recreation of the scene of Jesus' birth, what else does the church offer during that celebration? We offer music and uh, hot cider and cookies uh, down in the gym as they can listen to uh, music and maybe even see a play. In First Baptist Church first hundred years, the Living Nativity has been an important part of the mission outreach. What are your hopes for the next 100 years? That we can continue to build on this and that we remember Christ is, is the, that Christ is the center of this and that we can keep laying that seed to everybody so that we, you know, they need to hear the word of Christ and they need to understand that. Uh, and we keep planting that seed. And I'm hoping to see that the church can continue to do that for our next 100 years. And uh, Burnett, what, what would you like to see for the next 100 years? I, I definitely wanted to get bigger and better. Uh, I see little children coming that have no reason. They don't even know what Christmas is about, and that's the reward. Chris, Burnett, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.